Hello, welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for continuing to follow me on my journey. And this is a journey that we've been on for a while and I see no end in sight. Great day today. I got a package from Etsy, from Pen BBS official store. I think it's the best place to buy Pen BBS pens. The new models seem to come out there first, and they also seem to come out at, at, at a better price when they eventually show up. If they do show up on eBay, the price is higher. They package in this same box. Delivery's been getting quicker. This one was uh, a little bit less than two weeks. So let's get rid of the tape and let's see what's inside. The box is a little banged up, but I'm not worried about that. As we pull it apart, we'll see the peanuts, which I would like them to do without, but then they show in these nice little photos of cats, which how you how can you say no to photos of cats? This is something new. The package is wrapped together. Here we have the pen that I'm really interested in. Yes, it's a 380, the new model. It's shadow, which I would call black. And the other thing that we have here is, as far as I know, Pen, Pen BBS's first adventure into notebooks. So it'll be interesting to see how the paper works and whether this is worthy of uh, joining the ranks of some of the famous notebooks of our time. As we see the 380 Revolve being held up by an orange crab, we get to see the twists, the facets. It's amazing design. And as usual with Pen BBS, it feels great in the hand. It feels great to write with. So let's explore it a little bit more. Krabby says hi. Thought we'd take an opportunity now that I have two nibs removed from two different Pen BBS pens. The medium nib, which is the newer version, versus the two-tone fine nib. I think the real difference is the way the tipping material and the way that business end of the nib is done between these two nibs. You can see that partial upturn on the fine one. And the fine one is definitely finer than the medium and that shows up well in the writing. So what you're seeing here shows through when you actually put ink in it and put nib on paper. The engravings and the way these are done both have their interesting appeal. Um, I'm impressed with what Pen BBS has done both aesthetically and functionally to improve and enhance our writing experiences. Well, the first thing that impresses you about the pen is its design and its craftsmanship. And yes, you can over tighten it in those facets don't line up. When you want to uncap it, it's one, two, and a quarter turn. So it's a little bit more. It's about a half a turn more than you would get with other pen BBS pens. I got it with a medium nib. This is my third medium nib. I also got a medium nib in my 355s. This is also the heaviest pen that Pen BBS has. It's pretty big too. I think it's the longest pen. We'll do a comparison later on. The section is a classic Pen BBS section. It's a little bit of an hourglass shape. It has a little bit of an upturn at the end by the nib. So as long as you hold it there, it's fine. But that ledge that is there because of the minimalistic design where the cap and barrel meat is very sharp. Could they have beveled that edge? Uh, probably may have changed the aesthetics a little bit, but I would have beveled the edge on the cap so they match up and the seam would be more visible. But you wouldn't have that sharp edge. So, you know, design changes that may or may not impact the way the pen works, but you can't grip it above the threads. It's just not going to function and work. 
it does post fine and it makes for a very long pen and in my mind it's a little bit back weighted and because of the length of the pen I probably would not post this no matter what we're gonna find inside the standard pen BBS converter with that spring in it uh, you take this out and if it's tight you can see with that insert in there and then if you want to replace nibs or clean nibs or do anything else this whole nib assembly unscrews and as you saw uh, as you will see uh, the nib comes out and uh, it pulls out relatively easily that's not the case with all pen bbs pens but i would say in my experience about 90 percent of them i can pull the nib and feed out of that nib assembly so that's the bits and pieces the pros and cons overall i would say that i don't think anybody would be disappointed with this design it's certainly not something i expected to see from pen bbs you know they have the 350 and the other uh, de nice design feature is the top of the cap is where the pen is identified so it's something that they did in the other aluminum pen that they did the 350 and it's the same type of stamping however they do it I think it's stamped in place and it's also identified on the nib so we're going to find an ink to put in here, ink it up, put nib to paper, and see if this medium nib writes the same as my other pen BBS medium nibs. Here we have the 380 alongside some of its peers, the 355, the 456, and the original aluminum pen that pen BBS did, the 350. So these three share in common this sword clip. But on the 380, it's kind of a matte finish, which I think is really nice and, and adds to the attraction and also goes well with the pen. The 350 did not have a clip at all, but also doesn't have that minimalistic design. It just has a step down on the cap, which kind of minimizes that delta, where this is that minimalistic design where the cap and the barrel meet at the same diameter and that results in that sharp edge that we have in the pen. All of these pens are nice in their own way. So I thought the 350 was a nice design. Some people uh, said it looked too familiar to the Nemesu one but my guess is they were both made in a similar factory in China. And they do have a lot of differences, so they're not really the same pen. They just look similar, which a lot of pens do look similar. So you may ask, Chris, if, if I was going to pick one of these pens, which would I pick? And I would pick the 456, the vac filler. These three all have the new medium nibs in. This one has the original fine nib in it. I like the medium nibs, but I just like, I think the 456 balance is, is great. Feel is great design is excellent and, and it, it fills with more than enough ink to last me for a, a long time so that's my verdict one wonders if the 380 will eventually come in more colors than just black or silver as it does now here's some of the pen bbs colors that i have not all of them but enough for me to be comfortable and enjoy the series there was no ink that screamed out at me, but I thought wisdom would make a lot of sense. This is a Monteverdi ink. You know, I've enjoyed the DC Super Show Blue. So I saw these for sale on eBay, and I picked up two of them. Here's the color card. It's a dark purple. You might be able to pick up a little bit of sheen there, but wouldn't call it a sheening ink. But I definitely would call it a purple. The chromatography shows it's red and blue, which to me is what you would expect in a purple. No surprises there. So Monteverdi is known for having themes associated with their ink, as these flies out of my hand. So this is part of an emotion series, 10 inks. They do a, a couple of these sets of 10 inks. 
I'm tempted to get one of them, but I haven't yet justified the price. And are you going to love all 10 inks? Who knows? I think Monteverdi does a good job with their inks. And this also has a story behind it. They picked the colors specifically to, to coincide with the theme of wisdom. I'm uh, not exactly a believer in those things, but I think it's just good that they actually tried to do it. I got a fairly full fill on the converter. That's three times. So the first time I came up, it filled about halfway, went back down, pulled it up relatively slowly, and I was about 80% full, and I'd say that's about 90% full. The third fill, I came up very slowly, because if you bring it up fast, the ink will cavitate and you'll get bubbles in it, but if you bring it up slowly, as you can see, it's a nice solid amount of ink. Enough talk, let's write. So now we're ready for the writing test, and I've been writing with this pen for a little bit of time, and we're going to show you what I experienced. I mean, this nib is very smooth, which all the medium nibs have been very smooth. But what I've noticed is, is with light pressure, you just get a very, very fine line. You put down more pressure, you can get more ink flow. It's writing better now than when I first inked it up. When I first inked it up, it was a little dry, a little skippy, but I think it took a while for the ink to equilibrate in the nib and feed and now it, it's writing as well as any of the medium nibs that I have but I will say one thing I do notice this sharp step up here I'm getting more used to it but when I first wrote my hands would even if they don't drift up they rest on that ledge and you really feel it let's take a look at how wet this pen is we do our cross hatch with normal pressure it's pretty wet. We'll add some pressure to it and it's even wetter. You know this there's no wallflower when it comes to laying down a nice patch of ink which the medium nibs are known for. So I think it's time for a rating. Hold on to your hats. I'm going to give it a 7.4 and the main reason is that step. It's going to make this pen unusable for a lot of people. I mean, I love the design. I love the look. I love the weight. I love the feel of, of the nib on paper. But it's just, you know, a little bit disappointment with Pen BBS because they are generally really focused on making excellent writing instruments. And here I think form took precedent over function and therefore we have an issue. And like I said, they could have beveled that edge and I don't think it would have detracted that much from the aesthetics or design of the pen. It may have added another step in manufacturing, but this pen is, is on the high end of what they're selling, you know, north of $30. So, you know, they can afford to do that. So that's my lowest rating of a pen BBS pen ever. I mean, visually, I think the pen is stunning. From a design viewpoint, I think it's it's done very, very well, but it's just that functionally that step up is, is not something that you're going to learn to live with. So we reached the end now, so thank you for watching. So you may have many great writing experiences, and this may not be one of them, but then just keep in mind if you do try out this pen, be prepared for what you're going to experience. So put some ink on paper, put some thoughts on paper, share them, enjoy your day, enjoy your life. Here's the end of this video. Until the next one, bye for now.